Dude, so how are the pictures? Bro, take a look at this. Yo! It's good. So we sort of like got perfect pictures in this place just using an iPhone. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. You guys have definitely seen the thumbnail or the title and you guys know that this video is gonna be something completely different. Now I really wanna do a video like this because this is something I'm really passionate about, photography. And today I thought it'd be really cool if I could take you guys with me, shoot some pictures, you guys can see how I work. All I'm saying is it could be fun, you guys might enjoy it. But first, we gotta go and pick up a friend of mine. I want him to be the model for today because this photography idea that I have in my head, let's go and try it out. I'm not sure if this is gonna work work or not but I think it'll be pretty cool to go and give it a try it's gonna be so much fun guys let's go so what do you have on Ravin see you all dressed up today according to you we are supposed to dress up as Hype as you can. Am this, I right? This is damn hype. I'm not hype. You're hype. <laughs> so the sun isn't doing us any favor today. Like, it's not like the most optimal weather to like shoot a picture, especially for the look that we are trying to go for. All right. So you guys know I went out today, and the initial plan was to do a different kind of photo shoot. But what happened was I forgot to bring the lens that I want to use. So I was like, hey, I can't do this shoot. And we were like, do we like scrape the day, or do we like figure out something else that we want to shoot? Right, so me and my friend Robin, we just stopped for a while. We decided to sit and just think about what we can do. And after about five minutes, we were like, hey, we have an iPhone. Why not use the phone? And then we were like, let's make it a little bit more niche. And that's how we decided to only shoot using the portrait mode on the iPhone. So guys, a little change of plans. We've decided to scrape the entire plan of the shoot that we actually wanted to do. And now we're gonna be using an iPhone to do mobile photography. And the challenge is pretty simple. Like all we gotta do is get a good picture using the portrait mode on the iPhone. Now we know Oh damn bro! <laughs> now we know the portrait mode on the iPhone is pretty good but we want to find out exactly how good it is. So let's go. Dude, so how are the pictures? Bro, take a look at this. Yo! So we sort of like got perfect pictures in this place just using an iPhone. This iPhone to be particular. Yeah dude, like did you even expect the picture to turn out that way? Not at all. Exactly, all, like, like it's pretty dope, right? Yeah. Yo, do you think this place will work? Most probably, yeah. Like, Maybe not. Looks Maybe pretty yes. cool, right? Like you have this like wooden texture. You'll just have to find out. We'll have to find out. Right, so I don't expect the pictures to be too good here because you know the place is too simple. But what about show this? me the picture, Rob. I'm done. I'm done, man. Dude, I need to see that again. Yo, you guys are gonna love this. All right, so we just managed to take the second photo of the day. It's pretty dope. Like the place was pretty simple. Like you guys can see it, it was somewhere there. Like that was where we took the second photo. Not really a big deal of a place, but the pictures turned out very good. Right, so Robin has somehow already fallen in love with the place. Like, do you love the colors or what is it, Robin? Uh, it's, no, it's just about the contrast, about the place and how colorful it is. You think this will work for our third shot? Of course. You never try, you never know. How about this wall? Do you think we should use this wall? Why not? It's just Why a wall, not? man. <laughs> I was making a joke, man. There's no way this wall is gonna work. Why not? You like Pikachu? It looks like <laughs> Pikachu as well. Guys, do you guys think this looks like Pikachu's tail? Alright, Robin, since you trust this wall so much, our third photo is going to be here and we're going to make it look good. Alright, so Robin has somehow rather convinced me to take pictures in this wall here and... Show me the pictures, Robin. Show me how ridiculous it Prepare looks. Prepare to get shocked. It's good. Bro. Bro. Guys few of these pictures are really good. Like bro, how could you tell that this wall would work? It's just a wall. Instincts, I would say. You just felt that this wall had something. It had potential. It had potential. It had potential. Get you a friend like this, he'll tell you 
He'll tell you exactly where to get your pictures that works. Alright guys, so we had fun in our shoot today. I think we got a few decent pictures. I'll show you guys the pictures later. But yeah, we're gonna get back home now. We're gonna edit the pictures and I'll show you guys the pictures once we've edited it. And yeah, let's go. And so the first place that we ended up was at this building and it was sort of like painted black and white. So it gave a very nice uh, back color to the pictures. I really love this place. Like we managed to get really good pictures here. And this picture here, I think this is my favorite picture from this place. I think Ravin did a fantastic job at taking the picture considering we only used an iPhone. Yeah, it's just an iPhone. But when you look at the picture, you can tell that this picture actually has quality to it. And when we were done shooting here, we moved on to the next location. Now this location was by the river. So we know we were going to get the color of the water and we need to work with that, right? And so we just walked and walked and we saw a really good bridge and a pathway on the side. And you know what? We actually got this picture from there. Now I love this picture because Ravin covers an entire side of the picture and the other side of the picture is covered by this tree on top. So you don't get any empty spaces in this picture. And Ravin looking away from the picture, it actually gives a very good touch to the picture. At least that's what I think. And then we went to this third location. Now this third location, it was just a wall. Like this entire place was so colorful and I just wanted to walk past it because I don't really like working with colors that much. But Ravin told me like, hey dude, stop. This is a good spot. We're gonna try shooting here whether we get a picture or not. And you'll see what I see in my head. He told me he saw something at this place in his head. And I was like resistant at first because you know, I really don't like working with colors that much. But he sounded so convincing and I was like, okay dude, let's just give it a try, you know. And it turns out Ravin actually did see something on this wall. There was potential on this wall. Just take a look at this picture guys. This picture actually looks dope. So yeah, that was the three locations that we ended up going to today. Overall, I think we did a good job considering I forgot to bring my lens for the initial shoot. And this being a shoot that we actually compromised for, it didn't feel like a compromise. It actually felt like we got really good pictures. So yeah, I'm kind of happy with today's shoot. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for coming along on this vlog. I really enjoyed myself today and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.